the Western way of life doesn't mean just saddling up and going for another ride in those priceless, must-have jeans. But hopping on your horse bareback and riding off into the desert where the sun kisses the purple mountains. This is where I can think, dream, and create. I have had to fight hard to preserve the Western way of life for me. Even though this may not have been the path that my parents would have chosen for me, I am thankful that I had their support to do what I love. Wranglers, rodeos, and horses? Yes, they are definitely part of it. But let me propose to you that maybe the Western way is much, much more. The people who take on this lifestyle have that something special, something unique, a certain tradition or pattern of work ethic, honesty, integrity. You know, they're the give you the shirt off their back kind of people. Isn't that what really matters at the end of the day? That you can come home, kick off your boots, and feel good about the person you are, the person you've become through this, the Western way of life. Thank you. I'm Katie McBride, and I'm Miss Rodeo Nevada 2017. Hi, I'm Jane Stoll. I'm Iron County's Rodeo Princess. My name is Mackenzie Bush, and I'm former Clark County Rodeo Princess. Every time I tell somebody I'm a rodeo queen, they always have this, like, kind of confused look on their face. A lot of people don't know what it is. Rodeo queens and princesses are there to represent rodeo. They're the face of rodeo. My favorite way to describe what a rodeo queen is, is she's... Her job is to bridge the gap between like a spectator or a fan to the cowboys, to the stock contractors, to the, the big names behind the PRCA. My job is to be PR for the PRCA and to answer those questions that people might have, to debunk common misconceptions, and just to promote the PRCA. PRCA means Professional Rodeo Cowboy Association. Cowboys are incredibly tough. It's definitely not a sport for whips. What's really cool about rodeos is it's based off a of heritage and a lifestyle, meaning that the events that you'll see at a rodeo are derived from something real life that's really happening and it still happens even today. And you have to be tough. You, you just gotta be hardy. Get up, get up, get up. I always say the more sparkles you have, the better rodeo queen you are. But aside from all the sparkles, trying out for rodeo queen is actually a ton of work. You have to learn how to sit. You have to learn how to walk. You have to prepare to answer the most bizarre questions on stage. If you could be any bar animal, what would you be in life? If I could be any bar animal, I would be a dog. You have to know what you're doing. Um, when I ran for Miss Rodeo Nevada, a lot of girls just came in and saw the pretty girl on the horse and they wanted to be the rodeo queen. Well, you have to know about horses. You have to know their anatomy. You have to know their sicknesses. They expect us to be veterinarians. They expect us to be politicians. They expect us to, you know, know everything about everything. I don't think I've ever studied more for anything. Even in college, I never studied these types of things as in depth as I've studied for Miss Rodeo America. I mean, I go to work and then I come home and I study, 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 study every day for the past, since May. It's a beautiful spring day, not a cloud in the sky. So in a Rodeo Queen pageant consists of different events, um, includes most often having to give a speech in front of a crowd. Another event is modeling, and you're given an opportunity to show off your Western fashion wear. And you get to bring your own horse, and Ooh. they give you a pattern that you have to ride, and you're judged on um, the different skills that you perform in that pattern, and sometimes even then have to trade and get on someone else's horse and do it to prove that you can, you know, handle different types of horses. There you go. The matchy matchy rule. Your boot, pants, belt, shirt, earrings, sometimes your hat matches you. Spray paint works wonders. We call it the popsicle look because you look like a popsicle, you're all one color. Um, that'll never stop, I don't think. When I tried out for Rodeo Queen, I had the hottest outfit in the arena. It was all turquoise. 
my shirt, pants, belt, boots, um, everything. And it cost us $600. I think the most interesting part is that, or the most bizarre part is probably our hair. I get so many questions on my wings and why they're so important. Wings is when you like curl your hair up and out so it comes around your ears so you can see your earrings and it's not just like sticking to your face. I like them just because it shows off my earrings and it's, it's a signature rodeo move. We wear leather dresses. <laughs> Full on like long sleeve typically to the floor leather dresses. You have a leather belt that matches and your boots. But they're not just like black. Well they can be black or brown but like they're not always the typical colors you think of maybe leather. They're usually like bright pretty colors. Um, there's a very particular style to the way they're designed. You typically have to get them custom made so they like actually fit you right. You can't just go buy one. There are a lot of weird things that rodeo queens do, but when it comes down to it, I learned a lot of skills and gained a lot of, out of the experience. I learned how to be confident, um, how to public speak, how to interact with strangers. Being a rodeo queen, really, I credit a lot of who I am today to my experiences and um, the lessons that I learned from that. With rodeo queening, as I said, uh, there's a lot more underneath that hat than what people realize. I remember being at a rodeo in Vegas and Miss Rodeo Nevada at the time noticed a family who was peeking over the fence trying to catch a glimpse of the rodeo. Um, they had never seen a rodeo before and I guess they didn't have the money to get in. And so she actually ended up buying the whole family tickets to get in to see the rodeo. And I think that that is what being a rodeo queen is really all about. It's not about the sparkles or the fame. Um, even though it, may, it might look like that from the surface. But just like I said in my speech, it really is about the person you are and the person you are becoming through the Western way of life.